much news going over. Like, this, the last two weeks have been insane about news. Now, we do have some possibil- possibility of some challenges. But the big topic today is this right here. The Diplo event. Pirate Realm event. Event. Now we all know. Also, we have this too, which the uh, which the um, what's it called? The Verb Emo, which is actually coming tonight. So it's be coming yet tonight. Um, my guess is around 6 p.m. Cause that's that's when usually 6 to 8 p.m. Because that's when the that's when last time the party wings came out and everything like that. So of course we have this tomorrow. Right, um, I don't know if I'm too many people are excited for that, but this is the big one, okay? So let's read this right here. Evaluate your game with the free music reactive after party wrap by logging in between July 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern and August 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern. Diplo presents Higher Ground is a lie is live at the main stage on July 31st. But to do what? Which also is the official release date of the Galaxy Scout skin. Hopefully, at 2 p.m. Eastern. Wow! And not only that, we have so much leaked skins that are going to coming out. Right? Let's talk about them. The event visions coming out. That is the little skins for leak. The party diva, the party MVP, the party star. And then the final skin coming on July 30th, right, is none over, none other than Nightlife with a brand new pink edit style. And not only that, is we also are getting the f- super excited to get the wrap. This is just a really crazy video, I know. And now for the next part is Summer Legends Bundle. Uh, I have not really talked about this on my channel. Right, we did say there was a new bundle coming out, but this skin, this comes with the Tropical Punch Zoe, which looks so much better than the original Zoe, Unpeeled, Unpeely, and then finally have Summer Fable, and this should be out in the next 24 hours in all countries, so it will not, you guys cannot buy with the bucks sadly, it will, will be towards $20. Yeah, also, the water level went down, so I forgot to mention that, but the water level did went down. And now we actually have the official date of when we guys know when the water level's going down. This can, I have a theory about when Atlantis will be ready for us. Okay, the final water level stage before Atlantis is coming out on July 30th at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Wow, that is so crazy, right? So I, my theory is we're getting this ready because 13.40, right? Has been put in the event files. So what if, guys, 19, 13.40 has our live event leaks? We have, like, what the events we're talking about. We have the ancient astronaut challenges over here. This is just so, this is so much that I'm I know a lot of people are probably just like, wait, all the stuff is actually, wait, all the stuff is coming out, right? And I, I'm going to be completely honest with you all. Um, I think Atlantis, he's my theory for Atlantis, and this big black, this big hole. My theory is when 13.40 releases at 3, at 2, I think it's now 2 a.m. downtime, but then at 3 a.m., not only will the water level go down for Atlantis, because you have no textures for it, right? They're all encrypted. You'll also see event files on next Tuesday. Because it's all lining up. We're getting the water level going down again on the 30th. The 30th is literally, literally, um, it's what, I don't know, I have to see my math. Alright, so today is literally, what is it, three days away. Again, so every three days, the water level is going to go down to Atlantis Island will be there on Monday or Tuesday, guys. And that is absolutely insane. I cannot believe we're getting so close to Atlantis. 
being in Fortnite or whatever that hold is. I'm yeah, I'm posting like fingers crossed to do Atlanta. You know, it's awesome. Also, there is rumors. Like, these are all speculation, by the way. Like all speculation that we will be getting a live event this season. It'll be a space game because they added back the visitor rocket trail from the end event and the or OG rocket event they added back from the Monster vs. Monster vs. Mech event and the big one is they added back the explosion effect that was using the not only the Doomsday event but also the end event so my theory is for this event is right first we're gonna have to land here because I think this will be ready by Thursday the challenges right with Siona, I think it'll make more sense we're gonna have these, right? So we're just gonna, the first thing we're gonna have to do is help the person out. We're gonna help them out. Like all the leaks say, we're gonna try to, we're either gonna help them launch or not help them. But then the event LTM will be that we have another rocket launch, right? And this will all, my, in this room, it will all depend on the community's voting. Like, if we should let him escape or not. And what I think is gonna happen is we're gonna have a space event. Again, we're having... And that's it. I don't know that's out. I don't know what else is gonna happen, but I'm... Almost 99% positive we're having a space event this season. And that'll be so perfect, too. Because not only Season 4 and Season 3 already had a kind of a space theme. And Season 3 had, like, the meteors come down. And you know, it'll make, it'll make so much sense to add this in the game. But yeah, also, uh, here's all the locations that came back from the water level. Dirty Docks, Slurpy Swamp, and then Weeping is basically fully uncovered. Also, Fort Tella and Ricky D. Rig have moved. Out. <laughs>